What's going on guys? D-Legend here and today we have a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road video. We're going to be doing the big bonus challenge in just a second, but before I start that, I want to start with Dark Road. And before I even start that, I want to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road content. Thank you guys for all your support. We're going to try to hit 2500 subs before the end of the year, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel or if you've already seen a bunch of my videos and haven't subscribed yet. Because I know there's a bunch of you, and if you are one of them, I am talking to you. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like button. That really helps as well. Let's try to hit 80 likes on this video if possible. And yeah, let's get started. So really quick here in Dark Road, I want to touch on a really quick little item. So if you guys go into the events tab, you'll actually see a Ringmaster um, new quest. And so basically you beat this once. And that is all you need to unlock some really, really nice passive abilities for your album. So this enemy is actually pretty tough, to be honest with you. But I would recommend you try to do this as soon as possible so you can get unlocked the passive abilities. You're probably going to need to be at least level 52, 53 and above to be able to actually beat the enemy. At least level 50, I'd say. Um, but I'm level 55, I believe, and I was able to do it, and look right here, you only have to defeat him once, that is all they ask of you, and you get a passive effect ability of defense 10, magic resist 10, magic 10, and strength plus 10 as well, so all those just from beating the enemy once, that's all you have to do it. Um, there's no continues available in the actual quest there, so make sure you guys go ahead and try your best to do this so you can get those passives. I am level 56 right now, and I was able to do it, so I think you should be able to do it anything above like level 52, 53, as long as you don't just auto it. I think you have to manually uh, manually run the actual quest, because this enemy is pretty tough, and you're going to need a lot of health restore um, cards to be used. But uh, anyways guys, moving on back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, because that's why you guys are here for the most part. Um, we're going to do the big bonus challenge because that's something that we look forward to every single month. We do get 5,000 free jewels every single month from the big bonus challenge. And it's probably the event that we look forward to the most other than high score challenges, which I'm very excited for this month, by the way, guys, because the high score challenge this month should feature another brand new medal, um, to add to the inventory as a high score challenge, um, reward medal, rank reward medal. So we got Union Cross going on now because it is Tuesday. So we'll go into our quests. And it's also raid week, by the way, guys. So if you guys weren't aware, feel free to raid. Feel free to not because it is Christmas pretty soon here. And I know a lot of us have better things to do than play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. I certainly will not be raiding as much this week compared to previous raid weeks and stuff. But anyways, moving on. Big bonus challenge. Let's do that. So I'm probably going to do... I don't know if I want to run the entire thing with you guys, or just a few quests. The Poisonous Pretender, that's a new one. So usually it's just the... Very interesting. I, we haven't seen this yet. But let's just go ahead and do it. I think we should be able to do all seven quests, or all eight quests with you guys in this video. I don't think we'll make it too, too long. I think the first probably five rounds should be really, really easy. And I'm using my raid setup right now, so I don't think it will be too, too difficult. How are you guys doing, by the way? Let me know in the comments below about your days. Let me know what you think about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross right now. Let me know what you think about the new banner that is out. Give me some feedback on my videos. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for... Commenting that really helps the YouTube algorithm as well from what I understand at least But yeah, we are really really close to 2,500 subscribers. We're at about 2370 at the time of recording this video So hopefully we can hit another hundred and thirty subscribers before the end of the year because that would be a really really cool milestone to hit before we get to the end of 2020 Yeah, we're still destroying these enemies with our raid setup here, so I am not too bothered to switch my setup. If you guys want to skip ahead to uh, round number 7, feel free to do that, or round number 8. I 
I don't want to make this video too, too long. So maybe after... Actually, no. I think we should be able to do this. Finally, some health on this guy. So Streletzia, I think, does increase the count, which is good. And she does max buffs and debuffs on the enemy, so that is perfect. She will be perfect for this quest. Because I think the, it's not a barrier master, but something similar. I think he does buff the enemy up quite a bit defensively. But I love the free jewels. It's always nice, especially when there's nothing to spend your jewels on right now. This is our raid setup still. I'm going to use it for what, round number seven? Or round number five or six right now? We'll just see here. We'll have to pop some supernova just to make things a little quicker here. But uh, this is a pretty easy looking quest so far. Basically, go in here and pop your supernova. Kill the enemy. Bring in metals that actually buff yourself up and debuff the enemy because that's what you're going to need after you beat the uh, side enemy. But lots of free jewels. Make sure you do this. I promise you won't regret it. It doesn't take too, too long. Alright, three quests left to go. Let's do this. I know it says six out of seven, but there's probably an eighth quest, which is the bonus quest for the month. But this is a brand new enemy. I've never seen him yet. I haven't even seen him attack, so it's going to be interesting to see what he looks like when he attacks. Because, like I said, I have no idea. We use the let's see for the time being, because we do want to buff ourselves up and not get rid of his uh, counter there. Because if we do get rid of his counter, he will... Oh no, I got rid of his counter. He restored health fully? Are you serious? So we're going to have to run that again. But basically, do not trigger his counter, or else he will restore the enemy's health and his own health fully. Which really does suck, because that means you're going to have to run this again. Like I have to. Let's bring in a different setup here. We'll still bring in a counterpoint setup. Make sure you guys grab your boosters, by the way, so that is a very important thing for this month um, because there are Keyblade boosters in the Avatar boards. If you go ahead and spend some Avatar coins, um, you can go ahead and grab those. But we're going to bring in this... Actually, let's not bring in... Actually, we do need to bring in Aqua, so we'll leave her there. Don't know if we need this copy of Aqua. What does she do for her special attack real quick here? Count plus minus zero. Perfect. We got our one copy that is not a raid medal of Streletsia here, not bad. And some the wise copying Kyrie. Cool, cool, cool. Or we could bring in Kyrie. Let's throw Kyrie into uh, another slot here. Or we can use Shion. Nah. Let's do this. Nah, why would I do that? Uh. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do this. That is it. That is all. So hopefully this is enough to beat this level. Let's bring in a friend metal. There's been a lot of connection errors recently, but let's bring in a friend metal, Kyrie, with perfect traits. If you guys don't have Kyrie available to you, Shion is a really good option. Um, other metals like Streletsia are a good option. Aqua is a good option. Some of the stained glass metals that were released recent-ishly are a good option as well. So totally up to you guys what you want to do with your friend metal. But I would recommend a magic metal because they are super effective against these enemies.
and try to keep his count nice and high so you don't have to deal with him hitting his counter. There you go. And just like that, Strelitzia destroys him. Perfect. Just like just what I wanted to see. Two rounds left here. Utilize your copy metals, guys. Ansem the Wise is a really good option for counterpoint, obviously. But even if you don't have Ansem the Wise, I'm sure a lot of you do at this point in time. Um, you can bring in metals like Reaper or for your pet slot even, um, just to copy whatever friend metal you have. Or uh, what's another good copy metal? The newest me uh, copy metal is stained glass number 14, right? Is it 14? Yeah, 14. So that's a really good option as well. Highly recommend that if you have it. Like I said in the uh, banner and metal analysis video though, I would not recommend pulling from that banner. Just not worth it because you are not getting a good bang for your buck when it comes to spending jewels there. But to start off with, basically just buff yourself up as much as possible, and now he has a fourth slot trigger on him. So I don't know if that procs his counter, or does the same thing as what his counter would do, or if it just causes... Oh no! Wait, we triggered his counter, what happens? Oh, we just got it debuffed really badly. Not the end of the world. Wait, that was fourth slot? That was third slot. So same thing happens here. If you trigger his uh, fourth slot counter, he doesn't do any damage to you, which is not the end of the world. And most metals these days do have do provide you with max buffs. So it's not the end of the world if you do trigger that uh, fourth slot counter. And there you have it, another one turn victory against this enemy in round seven. And don't be afraid to uh, do this over two or three turns if you need to. Bring in second chance if you have to, because I'm sure you'll be able to get this done. The main thing is to defeat the uh, enemy with the counter first. I don't remember his name. It's not a barrier master because that's a blue one slash purple one. But this one might be... I don't really remember. Anyways though, quest number seven. He is a power enemy still, so we're going to bring in the exact same setup. Except for our friend metal this time, let's bring in something slightly even better. Let's bring in... Actually, not a lot of you guys will have access to MOM Kyrie, so... Mom Kyrie. <laughs> so let's bring in... Do we have another Stiletzia somewhere here? No. Let's bring in Pietro's Aqua. No. Doesn't have the best traits. I guess we'll stick with Max's Kyrie. Let's do it. Might need two turns for this one specifically. Oh, it's a great pretender, nice. We're doing absolutely no damage right now, which is pretty crazy. Kyrie will start doing damage, I'm sure. But we're probably gonna need two or three turns this at this rate. Wow. He has a lot of health. So we're going to need a lot of combo procs here. Oh, we should be able to do this. We're good. Never mind. So that's quest number eight. You do get a title, as well as some gems, I believe. But honestly, even if you can't defeat quest number 8, or round number 8, you do still get your 5,000 free jewels, so not the end of the world. It's just one holiday draw ticket here. Fantasia, Mickey B, and some avatar coins. So really, really not the end of the world if you don't beat quest number 8 in this event. There you have it guys, there's no title even for that specific round, or even this round. 
So don't worry about it, just try to get up to number 7 done. And if you can't get number 8 done, not the end of the world, like I said. Um, make sure you guys do collect all your jewels and tickets from the present box and such. But aside from that, we're going to leave it at that. I will do some holiday draw ticket pulls in the near future here. Maybe on live stream if you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for checking out today's video. Appreciate you all. And I uh, hope you all have a great day. I think this is probably maybe the last video I will record before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you guys. Have a amazing time with your family if you guys get to spend it with your families. But obviously with uh, COVID going on right now um, and... There's different restrictions going on around the world. And uh, yeah, but regardless, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Catch you all soon. Have a great one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will leave it at that. Peace, guys.